Guten Morgen from Berlin. You ready to go out? Sort of. It's real warm. It's real, real it's warm. It's really warm. It's like 32 degrees for all four days, so gonna we melt. are going to melt. We got here yesterday. Uh, we had some delicious Lebanese, Lebanese food. Then we wandered around for a bit, and now we are ready for our first full day of exploring the city. But first, pancakes. So because I've never been to Berlin before, I wanted to prep. I did a lot of research, and I actually have this app, City Maps to Go, which um, let you put like all your places in that you want to go to and you can see it when you're offline as well I think I'm probably gonna do a video about like how to prep for a city trip Let me know if you guys are interested. Uh, but yeah, that's how we're planning on, on getting around this weekend. All right, let's go delicious cafe called District Coffee where we had the most beautiful pancakes with like basil and lemon butter. One very unfortunate thing about Brexit is that currently the euro and the pound are basically equal. So it means that while usually everything would have been about 30% cheaper than in London, it is now just exactly the same price. on what seems to be a stationary tour of Berlin. We've been to like three or four stationary shops so far. There's one or two more to go. What do you think of the atmosphere in Berlin so far? What does it compare to? It's pretty mellow. Everybody is cooler than me. Like, everyone. Everyone's like pretty cool. Everyone's like blue hair, tattoo covered. And uh, no, I can't compete. I'm not gonna lie, it reminds me a little bit of Amsterdam, but more like the suburby bit. And it's very green everywhere. Now, reach the, all these like sort of courtyards. I was gonna say it's like Neil's Yard in London. It's called like Die Hocken, Hocken uh, They're all nice and green. Uh, there's some children playing in this one. And there's lots of nice little shops. We just kind of like fell asleep in our park for about an hour. That was nice, we've got a really nice view. And now we're gonna do some more wandering around the city. All right, let's go. Saturday. This morning I had my meetup, which was really lovely. We had a nice picnic, and now it is almost time for the Lange Nacht der Museen, which is an evening in which I don't know if you can see this. It is a night where 77 museums are open. You buy one ticket, you get to go to all of them. There's like transport buses in between, so that is what we'll be doing tonight. But first, we're gonna go find some more cute cafes and shops. Let's go. It is still 32 degrees, by the way. We're continuing the stationary journey today. Uh, this is this is Ting. It's very lovely. It has a lot of stuff <laughs> that I saw in Norway as well. <laughs> How do you feel about the weather today? It's so warm. Uh, I feel like all I've said on camera so far is that it's very warm. It is very warm. It's very warm. All my chocolate melted into one big chocolate. So far, the only bookshop that was on my list is no longer in existence. So let's see if when we're up with the second one. Going on. We're, we're sitting now. What's the plan? Uh, we're gonna go to the museum night. We've got 77 museums to visit, and we're like five. So we're going to How many of them feature dinosaurs? At least one. At least one. That's the important thing. Good 
morning. Last night was the long night of the museums. We ended up making it to five museums between 8 p.m. and 2 a.m. We did take a nap beforehand. We saw some dinosaurs. We saw the Museum of the Future, which is actually not finished yet, so it's more like a building site. We played a bunch of games. We saw some, some cars at the Technology Museum. I don't have footage of all of this. We managed to see some like ancient Greek stuff and then waddled home at the end of the night. But now we're ready to go again. It is the last day, so we're gonna find some food do maybe one more museum, go see the Berlin Wall, and then chill out in a park. So yesterday I bought two little notebooks. I bought this to-do pad, and then I also bought a, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Luch, Luch, Luchtturm, Leuchtturm, 1917 notebook, which is, it's dotted, it is numbered. I might be doing some bullet journaling. All right, let's get into the sun. We just had breakfast at Aura, which is a little bit south. Amazing sourdough bread, good jam. Used to be an old apothecary, it looks really cool. Uh, and now we're gonna go see the Berlin Wall. We're heading to the east side of the river now. Uh, I'm on a swing, we found loads of swings on this bridge. We're gonna go see the Berlin Wall. I'm pretty sure that when I was, the makeup has melted off my face. But we, we were gonna go to the art museum and then we found some grass and some shade. So then we had a nap. Uh, but we're just across from now. So we're gonna see some art and then we're maybe gonna rent some bikes and then we're gonna pass out in the park with some ice pops. All right, so it's our last morning in Berlin. It is airport day. All we have to do now is go get some delicious pancakes, pack our stuff, and then we're gonna go to the airport. So this is probably the last bit that I'm filming. So we're gonna say goodbye to our Airbnb and head to the airport. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and talk to you guys later. Cheers. Cheers.